if you're thinking about starting a podcast, you clicked on the right video. In this video, we're going to talk about all the ins and outs of a starting a podcast from our own experience, whether you have a really small budget or you can afford to spend a little more right up front. But before we get into the video, make sure you go down, hit the subscribe button, and also down in the description, we're going to or I'm going to provide all of the links to all of the stuff that we use so you can check it out where we bought it how much yes. it all was with that being said let's get into it so you guys may be wondering what i'm doing here right so i'm pablo i haven't been on the channel for a while but i'm jose's brother and we have a podcast together and it's called in our house when we first started the podcast all we had was an iphone setup guys that's literally it just yes. iphones but obviously with the iphones it may not be recording the best audio so we knew from the beginning that we the first purchase we needed to do was to get some microphones the first microphone we had we, that we used is right here and uh, what's, what's the brand on it what aokio ak60 this microphone itself we bought off of amazon and it was around 30 to 40 dollars i think the first time we bought some they were on sale and then afterwards we bought more for more guests and yes. they were a little bit more expensive these are condenser microphones and basically these microphones are meant to pick up surround sound surround noise and we didn't know that so once we actually started recording we heard surround noise I would hear Pablo all of the time because he's loud yes. as hell. <laughs> I'm trying to tone it down for this video a little bit. <laughs> it's not a bad microphone whatsoever. We just bought it the wrong microphone for the intended purpose that we needed it for. We recently upgraded to which are the Maono Dynamic XLR USB mics. And the cool thing about these, which is why we got them, they have the XLR connection, which you can see here, but they also have the USB-C connection. So if you don't have the interfaces or the equipment necessary for the XLR, you are able to use the USB-C to connect to your computer on the other end. For the price that we bought them for, um, it was, I think, like $64 a mic. For the price, yeah. it's really high quality. After we got the microphones that we, that we wanted, we obviously knew we would have to record the audio somehow, right? We found a free program called Audacity, which we use to this day and it's completely free and it for what you need it for it does great there's also other audio recording softwares like GarageBand which is kind of nice because if you're using a Mac to record GarageBand already comes pre-installed into the Mac but there's also Adobe Audition SoundOp and AVS audio editor that you can use or download and if you look back at some of our older episodes you can tell that there's one issue that stands out above everything else audio 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 yep who knew audio was going to be so important for a podcast i know right <laughs> what a thought if you didn't know usb mics can only be recorded on one laptop therefore if you have more than one you can need another laptop or another recording device in order to be able to record that mic's audio there's this thing called latency right every computer every device has a different speed at which it records what you're actually saying so to fix that issue you need an audio interface what the audio audio interface does it records all of your audios from separate mics puts it all into one place which is itself the audio interface no realigning needed in your editing software and the plus side is that with the interface you just need one laptop to record but with the audio interface you need xlr mics if you're looking to getting into an interface on a budget um pablo and i spent a total of less than 200 dollars. with that money i was able to get the interface the amp that goes here and some uh mail to mail ends for headphone jacks the brand that we're using is a Behringer. Um, this one specifically has four XLR uh, inputs, which is nice because there's sometimes yes. when we have four guests on our podcast. There's four inputs and four outputs. Yeah, so if you're looking for a budget interface, this one honestly is the way to go. This is what we're using now with audio that you're hearing right now. It's 100% compatible with, with the Mac. The Mac automatically recognizes it as a interface. interface. This one specifically lets us just use it on Audacity or if you're using GarageBand that comes in the Mac, you can just plug it in and use it in there. So that's that's why this one is really nice really recommend this one also with the interface it comes with uh, one headphone jack which some interfaces come with two three or four but this one specifically just comes with one so we had to buy a amp and what the amp does is it takes the sound that you're recording from the interface and it allows you to wear headphones and you just plug in headphones in and it'll take the sound to straight to your ears one key important thing that I forgot when I bought the interface 
was that there's an adapter on this because the actual headphone jack is for like the big long jacks that you would use like on a guitar or like some, a really professional set of headphones. In total with the audio interface, micro amp, separate audio adapter was like just under $200. So not too pricey, not too cheap in the mid range. If you already have an iPhone with everything we've talked about so far, right? I think you're looking at around $300, which a couple months of saving and you should be all right. Now going into the video recording devices, like we stated in the beginning, we started off with just iPhones. Well, we still remain a two thirds iPhone setup. So the majority of our cameras are iPhones, but Pablo did end up buying a camera for his YouTube channel and his content. And that camera records our main angle of the podcast. The camera I ended up going with the Sony ZV-E10. The one I got brand new ran me around $800 under 900 after taxes yeah granted it is a little bit more pricey but for the quality that it is quality of video that you can get out of it it's it's great and one thing i really recommend if you're getting an actual handheld camera is getting a dummy battery basically what that is is a battery that's connected to the actual wall outlet that way the battery never runs out the only yes. thing you're worrying about is the storage on your camera and if you are using iphones and you're on a budget some of the main things i recommend you do before you start recording one make sure your phone is fully charged or connected to the wall outlet already charging Two, make sure you have enough storage in your phone yes. three this one's a really big one make sure your phone is on do not disturb because if you get a call sometimes your phone just stops recording so now you have your video and you have your audio how are you going to edit all of this content put it together and to export it onto youtube or spotify well the editing software that we use is free and it's called DaVinci Resolve 18. It's literally so good. I've edited all my videos, all the podcasts on this. You have everything you need in there. You can edit in there. You can adjust the quality of your image. You can do things like After Effects inside of that one software. It's like a one-stop shop for all the editing, video editing needs that you would need. So that's the editing software we use and we recommend because we've been using it since we started the podcast over a year and a half ago. So yes, that is really all you need to start a podcast. Honestly, you don't need much it is very affordable apart from all the essentials that you need to start a podcast some of the extra things that pablo and i bought and invested in for the podcast to improve our video we bought some box lights and we specifically got two of them because we found that two works really good for the little room that we have for the podcast and we also bought a sound curtain that doesn't specifically absorb all of the sound but the reason we have it is because the room that we're in doesn't have an actual door but it stops sound from traveling to the door and coming back onto the microphones and one thing that we haven't bought yet but we plan on buying is some sound panels to put up on the room that way the room becomes more noise reduced to make it easier on your guys' ears and whoever watches the podcast so we've been doing the podcast for a year and a couple months now if there's anything that i would say about starting is just the first couple episodes will be rough especially if you don't already have a very outgoing personality like a lot of this has just been us learning how to interview people and um just have fun talk about things you want to talk about if you do have a co-host agree on the direction and vision of the podcast so that way it doesn't end up falling apart after episode 10 yeah and make sure you guys are on the same page you have a consistent recording and uploading schedule but at the end of the day it's your podcast have fun Everything that we talked about in this video is all recommended. This is what all what we used and all from experience. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button right now. Okay, yeah, Click. I think it's down there. It's like yeah. right here. If not, it's like over here. But hit that and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. And let me know when you want me to come back to the field to whoop some ass, bro. Oh, man. So that's the so that's the editing interface. We so that's the editing software. editing software. Yeah. Podcast lamps. Oh, those are called box lights. Box lights. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Podcast lamps. And what the you want to explain what the amp does? <laughs> <laughs> what the f so funny, bro. <laughs> Bro, the past two minutes you've been trying to explain what this does, <laughs> and then you're just like, you want to explain what it does?